Welcome back to the Rogues Gallery. Today, winning by coin flip is the Wind and Wilting Blossom, a strategy RPG. So first we get to pick a leader. We're gonna go ahead and start with the default guy and his default loadout. There are a few different loadouts, but in this retinue you get two soldiers and this is the closest I've come to beating the game. You may notice I have no wins. This game is not easy. So to give a brief overview of the story, a witch has taken over Japan, feudal Japan. Uh, our hero, Mitsukuni, attempted to defeat her and was in turn defeated. He exiled himself to the uh, far south, but now he's going to the Imperial City because he hears the head of uh, the witch's child is speaking. And apparently that's going to help him take revenge. But first, we gotta kill some yokai. So this game uses a hex-based combat grid. We can move. We can attack. Right now, Mitsukuni is our biggest damage dealer, doing two damage. Our soldiers only do one damage. Thankfully, most enemies only do one damage right now. So when you kill an enemy, they drop money. And this is important, you have to pick up the money or else it goes away. So notice I could have ended the battle there, but I didn't because I wanted to give time for everyone to pick up the coins. And we got some cash. We also got a few resources. We got an XP scroll and we got food. Food is used when traveling and is expended every time you go to a node. And the XP scroll will, of course, help your party level up, which we will get to shortly. For now, though, let's see what's over here. All right, so the volcano erupts. We're going to go check it out. And we're going to get some money. Not a lot of money, but every little bit helps. And then we can, we could hit the shop right away, but honestly, there is nothing we could probably afford that's any good. If we take this path, we go through earthquakes, which are a condition in battle that will hurt us randomly. So I'm gonna try to avoid that. Another fight. So we can see how the enemy is going to move. So let's wait. One important note about enemy behavior is it is predictable, at least in their attacks. All characters have a threat range. Your leader has a hundred threat. So if he is around, enemies will always attack him first. this guy. Also important to note, as you uh, have probably noticed, everyone has a set amount of health. They also have armor. Armor is very important. Probably more important than health because it soaks damage before it goes to health. So having a good armor score not bad. All right, let's head over here. Go into the bathhouse. I think the bathhouse would just heal me and I don't really need it. So we're gonna skip that. We have no archer, so we can't shoot birds, unfortunately. Also, notice down here, the coming darkness. If that catches up to me, it forces me into a battle that is very hard to win. So the goal is to move through the map before it catches up to you. All 
Alright, we got some bandits. These guys are very easy to deal with. They do one damage, like most enemies now. And they only have one health. So we'll just take care of them real quick, get some cash. Oh no, I already took some damage. I was not paying attention to that guy's armor. That's fine though. Because there's a town nearby. And we can just go ahead and heal up. Here at the shop we can buy trinkets. Which will give us special abilities. We can buy food, scrolls, uh, key power, or ammo. Key power and ammo we don't need because our leader can't use it right now. Or we can heal up, which I will do. We can also buy new equipment. Ranged equipment is good, but stones are probably not worth it. They only do one damage and they don't go very far. And we can buy party members, all of whom are merchants here uh, and are pretty useless, so I'm not going to spend money on them. I will, however, use my scrolls to level up one of my soldiers. When he gets to level 2, he gets more health and more armor. And that's always nice. Alright, it's time to get out of here. So here we find out we need a letter to enter the Imperial City. And we need to find a clerk to give us one. First, ooh, this is uh, a little bit nasty. Skeletons with three health. A bit excessive. No, I messed up. I misclicked. What a donk. All right, I'll let this guy break my armor so I can get his cash. We're doing good on money. It's important to save up early because all the good stuff comes late game. So having a lot of cash late game is very helpful. Ooh, they got archers. There's also a treasure chest in the back, which could have something very good in it. So let's head that way. Archers are... Probably the best kind of... Uh, ranged attacks are the best kind of attacks in this game. Which makes ranged enemies very annoying. And they're the best just because you can kill someone from the other side of the map and they can do nothing about it. Alright, let's see what's in this treasure chest. A lot of gold, nice. Here, that's a pretty good haul. So I would like to get one more XP scroll before we get to this next story node, because there's going to be a fight, and having a leveled up soldier would be excellent. And this will give me one. All right, so we're gonna level up our soldier to level three, which means he gets another point of attack. And now we can do two damage instead of one.
Most of the enemies we've run into so far are pretty basic. This priest guy is the only uh, interesting one. He can heal enemies. So killing him first is usually the best idea. He's kind of far in the back though, so... Gonna have to wait for now. Nice, one coin. So sometimes someone can join your party from that event. And as you might expect, having more people in your party, usually good, as long as they're not, you know, merchants or farmers. People that are terrible. So yokai are attacking the town, and we have to go and get the Imperial Seal. This fight is always the same. It's two of these Oni. One of the reasons I wanted my soldier to level up is because they have quite a bit of health, and they do a decent chunk of damage. So killing them fast is always good. Just tank the next hit. And done without losing any uh, health. It's not bad. So we got our seal. Now we can enter the Imperial City. Also, we can level up our other soldier a little bit. Not quite to uh, level three, but pretty close. I recommend leveling the two soldiers as soon as possible. Oof, to get to the shop, we have to go through lightning, which is not the worst. A lot of archers here. Ooh, we got an achievement. So achievements, this is a good time to bring those up. You achieve those, uh, well, they're achievements. You do certain things, you get rewarded. And what they do is after you unlock them, they add certain items to the game. Like they'll add trinkets, or they'll add different weapons, or different allies you can recruit, or different leaders. I feel like that explanation uh, was very obvious, but oh well. I am rich. We can get a party member for only 50 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. Let's do it. And he's a soldier too. Soldiers are always nice to have. Go. Got another achievement. Wow. 
So I don't remember how this event works. I think we're gonna approach the wild-haired man. All right, well, he helped my leader level up a little bit. That's not terrible. All right. Uh, Shinto Priest, I always feel like I should buy one and I don't because they uh, can heal status effects. And then I don't buy one and I get killed by status effects. But I'm gonna ignore my instinct once again and instead buy some food and experience scrolls. And eh, no, I'll leave off the scrolls. Actually, I need one, just give me one. Ooh, that's rough. Lost a little health there. So in this uh, type of battle, our objective is to go and stand on top of this guy to save him. Which shouldn't be too hard. There's a treasure chest over there. Actually, I lied. Uh, this yokai is kind of a pain in the ass to deal with because she can apply immobilize like that. And now my friend down there can't move and he's gonna get killed. Well, that's a good treasure. Yeah, like I said, he is going to get murdered. That's a pretty big shame. Uh, I mean, we just got a soldier, so I guess the loss could be worse. It's not a run ending loss. If we only had two soldiers, that would be the end of the run. There would be no point to continuing. All right, let's kill this guy. even get to the objective because this guy is in the way. That is incredibly annoying. Alright, guess we did it. But at what cost? Time to level this guy up. Uh, we'll level our leader up, which gives him an extra weapon slot if we ever get another weapon. Take part in a street fight. Oh man, I really need to get to a shop, but I can't go back because the darkness is closing in. I might be able to. I don't think I'll be able to. Ah, oh, I could have. All right, we'll just let these guys come to us. Damn, I'm I'm so mad my soldier got killed.
that sort of brings me into, I guess, a good segue about the fact that A, this game is hard, and B, one of the things about non... I should say one of the things that I like about more action-oriented roguelites and twin sticks is the fact that there's more room for player skill, I guess? Because, say, in Enter the Gungeon, I could, in theory, beat the entire game with the starting gun if I was good enough. But in this game, I could just get a, a really bad spawn of an enemy who murders me in, you know, one or two hits. Ooh, boy, there's no shop around. Probably up there. Speaking of horrible enemies to spawn, this guy. He is absolutely awful because he does a shitload of damage. And of course, he can attack multiple uh, of my party members at once. I am not even gonna try to get the money from him. He's gonna give a lot, but it's not worth it. But yeah, if you just get bad spawns here, there's really nothing you can do. It's very RNG dependent. A little health there. It's not a bad deal. So this guy wants us to try his meat. It's probably going to damage everyone in the party, but I will try it. Oh, it didn't. Nice. So we found the head. And the head tells us that the witch has a brother. So we need to go find him. The story is always the same, by the way. There is no randomization in that. All right. Um, things are getting better. First of all, everyone's healed up, so that's nice. We're gonna buy some food. I'm gonna buy the artisan, because he's a healer. I would have liked to buy the bow, but I don't really have the money, so. Yeah, this shop charges way too much, but what are you gonna do? Level up our pal here. some scrolls. That's not bad. Maybe we can level up a soldier. We can. Let's level up this guy. And then we get to do, I believe, a fight. <laughs> 